Hello, welcome to Shars Craft Haven. Uh, we have a brief troubleshooting, uh, getting started with your Wi-Fi. And so I'm just gonna walk through the steps as if I had not connected to my laser box ever and um, show you the steps and hopefully this will help with some people who are getting a little lost along the way. Um, so before any of this, first thing you need to do is to download the software. You can get it from Xtool dot com slash software make sure that you're not downloading downloading the basic um, that's for the d1 only you want to be downloading the one that says laserbox pro and laserbox rotary it's the second link on the page currently you also want to make sure that you have plugged in and powered up your laserbox and then connected it via wire so that could be either the ethernet or via USB, and those are both on the back right side um, near the power on the Laserbox machine itself. So I'm assuming that you've done all of that, and we're going to get to it. So first off, you're going to click up here on the arrow and click Add a Device. And then whichever of these you initially have plugged in, right now it's plugged into the USB, so I'm going to click Next. And it says connected successfully. You'll know also, aside from that lovely beep that it does, um, you'll be able to see the um, you'll be able to see the workspace. Um, once you've initially done that, you can go back to um, add it to the Wi-Fi. So you're going to click on Wi-Fi. Again, I have not unplugged it, so it is currently still connected via USB. I'm going to click Next. It's going to look for my device, and then it's hopefully going to prompt me putting in my Wi-Fi information. So Shars Haven, um, internet name, and then you're going to put in your password. Once you've done that, you're going to click Next, and then it's going to say Successfully Connected. And let's see. All right, now that it's connected successfully via Wi-Fi, I can now disconnect my wired connection. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, if I were to try and start a job, well, it's not gonna want me to do that. But now it is not connected. So you can see it's gone blank. So since I disconnect the USB, now I need to go. I'm gonna press the start. It's gonna say unable to connect because we've removed that USB connection. I'm gonna say connect now. Instead of clicking these setup buttons, I'm going to click down here, scan connected to connected in LAN. Now it's going to scan for a little bit. And this can take a minute or so. Um, again, you want to make sure that your computer is connected to the same network via Wi-Fi as your laser box, and that it has no special characters in the name. Um, you can have special co special characters in the password, thankfully. Um, but once it's finished doing this, it's going to beep and it's going to pop up. Oh, it says make sure it's connected. Let's scan again. It's possible I put in my Wi-Fi password incorrectly, which would be a shame. Hopefully, once it finds my Wi-Fi, otherwise I'll have to show you how to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Um, but what should pop up here is a IP address. Okay, let's go back. All right, let me make sure that my Wi-Fi password is correct this time. Um, since I disconnected it, I need to fix that. All right, fail to connect. 
Alright, so we're putting in the USB again. Alright, let me double check. No caps lock. Again, disconnecting the USB, going up and scanning local area network. Once it finds it, it's going to pop up our IP address up here. All right, we're going to select it and then click Next. And now it's connected. Again, um, and we can see that the screen is up. Again, as always, thanks for commenting and subscribing. Um, if you're looking for wood, I have an affiliate link for my favorite place to go for Baltic birch, three millimeter and six millimeter. If you're interested in giving um, any excellent materials or machines, uh, please use the affiliate link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything and it goes a long way to supporting this channel and keep these videos coming for you. Please join the Facebook communities if you have any questions or want to connect with other makers. And as always, have fun lasering.